I'm really grateful for your comments and it's exactly how I feel. There are so many people struggling with mental illness who don't abuse their children, who aren't, you know, violating other human beings and who are working to get their mental illness under control and struggling. And they absolutely deserve and need our compassion and our support. So when somebody says to me, oh, your mother was mentally ill, I really dislike that at another level, not just the level of, oh, you're making excuses for her, but rather the level of how we're painting everybody with one brush and stigmatizing people who are mentally ill, who are not abusive and cruel. And so therefore we need to be very sensitive about how we throw those terms around. And yes, by definition, somebody with NPD or antisocial personality disorder, a sociopath, they're mentally ill, but that doesn't mean that they can't control their behavior. You know, somebody who is unmedicated and has a different type of mental illness, and I'm purposely staying away from naming different ones because I don't want to be a part of the stigmatization. But a person who, who is not at a place where they're getting the help that they need, they're going to be behaving in ways and doing things that are not good for them or anybody else. That isn't with intention. Sociopaths, narcissists, that's with intention. And in the case, and I say sociopath specifically because my mother is a sociopath and a narcissist. She got joy from hurting others. She liked the game. And the proof is that she would commit acts of fraud, financial fraud, when she didn't need the money, literally didn't need the money but she loved taking advantage of other people. It made her feel powerful. Could she have chosen better? Yes, because she was never really out of control.